Hello and happy Wednesday. Welcome to live. I'm Lisa from the Chocolate Carousel. Thank you for joining me. I'm starting a three week series today, a new series for you. Dessert for breakfast. I mean, who doesn't love dessert for breakfast? Kids love it, grown ups love it. It's an excuse to eat sweets in the morning. Gotta love dessert for breakfast. And I'm starting out today with a French toast recipe. So um, this is a really great recipe, really easy to make, and it's cannoli stuffed French toast. That's how we get the dessert aspect of it in there for you. So, Russ, you ready for this? Let's go. Russ is ready for this. When Russ is ready, I'm ready. All right, so let's start with this French toast recipe by making the cannoli cream. So you need a bowl for that. Now, does anybody know what cannoli, cannoli cream starts? You know, cannoli cream doesn't grow on trees, Russ. Um, it's a regatta it cheese base. It doesn't. Um, it actually comes from regatta cheese, and people often will say to me they didn't know that about cannoli cream. So I'm starting out with one cup of regatta cheese here. And what you want to do if boop, 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 what you want to do if you're using regatta cheese that you buy in the grocery store is you want to strain out all the liquid out of this cup. So you want to measure out what you need, and then using a paper towel, just make sure that it's nice and dry. I used impastata, which is a just a notch up from a regatta, and it has the liquid already removed. It's what I like to use in our cannoli cream here because it's a little bit richer and we don't have to worry about it being watery. So you're gonna start with one cup of regatta cheese or impastata cheese in your bowl. And to that, we're adding a quarter cup of confectioner's sugar because the cheese itself isn't sweet, so we wanna sweeten it up, right? We wanna sweeten that up with a little bit of sugar. And the confectioner's sugar is the way to go with that because it's not granulated, so it won't make it crunchy, just makes it sweet. I'm gonna mix those two things together. You can see how firm and dry this cheese is. That's what you want. You don't want a lot of wetness in this. You want it to hold up. And get that mixed in. I'm gonna add a little vanilla to that and that'll help bind that all together. Half of a teaspoon of good vanilla extract. You get a lot of flavor from that. Whatever your recipe calls for for vanilla, don't be afraid to add just a touch more. Kind of like doing that myself. I feel like vanilla really brings out all the flavors of whatever you're making. So using that little bit of liquid to get this all again to come together, and I'm just using a spoon to mix this. You don't want to do it with a beater because you don't want to break it down. You just want it to stay nice and firm. Now, it's already delicious at this point, but what makes everything better? Chocolate. Chocolate. Excellent. Russ, you've been paying attention. So I'm going to add to this one third cups of mini chocolate chips. Right? I like chocolate chips in my cannoli cream. If you do too, you're going to do this. If not, you can leave it out. But let's face it, once we get this on the griddle and it all gets melty, that chocolate is a key ingredient. All right, so the cannoli cream is ready. It's very simple. And you want that cheese to be chilled. Uh, before you start because we're going to cook this on the, the skillet and if it's warm it's just going to melt so keeping it cold will help you keep this all together just going to set that aside and i'm going to make the batter for my french toast i'm going to do two eggs in this bowl right here two eggs very cooperative eggs right there one quarter cup of heavy cream. This isn't a diet recipe. It's a dessert, dessert for breakfast. Gotta love it. All right, so a quarter cup of heavy cream going into this egg. Yeah, baby. All right, and I'm so excited because I get to use my little cute little pink hand mixer. It's pink. Just take a minute to check this out. It's pink, it has the little beaters, you turn it, it's like power tool for the kitchen. It's so cute. Do you love it as much as I do? Mm. You're not as enthused as I am about it. You I've been excited all day <laughs> about getting to use this thing. So you're just gonna use this to mix this egg up. You gotta get it first. Okay. 
I'm going to mix that all up with the cream and get that all to come together nice and light and fluffy. Amazing. I know, I'm a kitchen dork, I guess, but I like these kind of gadgets. It's so fun. I mean, you could do this with a fork, let's face it, but not as much fun. <laughs> Your daughter's watching from the beach and Erica loves the mixer. You got to love this. But, I mean, on top of it all, it's pink, right? <laughs> okay. But look it, it's so frothy and really nice and yummy looking already. Love this thing. Nobody else is allowed to use it, by the way. This is mine. So if you're watching from my kitchen, hands off. All right. Okay. I'm gonna pour that into some sort of a flat dish. You can use a pie plate if you have one. I want it to be uh, fairly flat so I can get my bread in there easily. The bowl doesn't work well for that. Just make sure it's all mixed. Good, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna prepare my toast. And so you need some kind of bread for this. You can use French bread if you like. I like just using white bread, but I got the butter bread, so it's a little bit richer. I mean, it's butter bread, right? It's a, this cannoli cream, French toast, Let's go with butter bread. Uh, but you want something that's kind of firm, not real soft. And if you do have like a soft loaf of white, come on now, use it a couple days after you got it so it's not really soft. You want it a little firmer. And we're gonna start by spreading some of the cannoli cream on the bread. Now this may seem a little bit odd, but trust me, it all works out in the end. Get your cannoli cream on there. I'm gonna do three of these sandwiches because Russ is gonna eat a whole one and I want some, so we're gonna make a few here. Kind of evenly disperse that between your sandwiches. Okay. And just using a little butter knife or a small spatula Spread that around to the edges of the bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at that. Creamy. You got the chocolate chips in there. Dessert for breakfast. I mean, this could be a midnight snack, too. It doesn't have to be in the morning, because lots of times we have breakfast at night, after a night out. Once you get that spread out, we're gonna top it with the other piece of bread, give it a little pat down, and make these sandwiches. All right, so I'm gonna let those sit for a sec. I'm just gonna get my pan ready to go. Over here, I have a pan on my burner. I'm gonna turn that on and just start that heating up. You want it on a medium flame if you're doing this at home. I put it on the mid, on the medium here. This is electric. And, gotta add a little butter. Guys, don't go lightly. This is decadent. Go and big. it's a treat. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Oh, we, have a, can... we have Alicia from Wichita Falls, Texas. Oh, cool. We we hey, Alicia. Howdy. From over there in Texas. All right, I've got my butter down in my pan here. This, I would say, is maybe two tablespoons. I want to get that melting. I'm using a giant knife to melt this. I just realized that. Do you feel threatened by I'll, this? I'll I'm using a giant knife to melt this. You could use something other than a giant knife, but I have this handy. All right, so that's melting. I'm going to the wooden spoon. Equally as dangerous of a recipe. All right, so get your butter melting. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit so it doesn't burn while I'm gonna finish my French toast off. All right, I'm gonna get that on low for a second. Bring the egg over here so you guys can see this. I'm wearing gloves to do it because I like to get in there. You can be neat if you want to, but I mean, what's the point of that? Cheryl asks how many Weight Watcher points, LOL. Oh, forget it. We're not even going to go there. This is not going to be a Weight Watcher approved recipe. 
I'm going to stick this in the batter and I get even the edges, both sides and the edges, because you want to have a nice coating of the batter on this and then right down into the pan. Can you hear it sizzling? You got that rust? You getting the sizzle? Some sizzle right there. Some sizzle. Yeah, you can already start to smell it as it starts to brown. And you want it to, to brown nicely on both sides and on the edges. So I'm gonna leave it maybe a minute or so on that side. While it's there, I'm gonna use a little cinnamon sugar, which is just equal parts of granulated sugar and cinnamon. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it down on this side just to add a little extra sweetness. And cinnamon is often an ingredient in cannolis. So this helps to bring that whole cannoli flavor all through this French toast recipe. All right, ready to flip? Oh, look at that. Golden, buttery, yumminess. What I do at this point is I want to seal all the edges. So once the second side, I have uh, two utensils here that I'm going to use to get my, my edges. So once the second side browns for me, I'm going to turn it up on each of its ends. Just briefly, just to seal that egg in. Melt it. Look at that. over. Oh yeah, that's the cinnamon side. Yeah, I'm Olivia's going to be on her French. way off the beach down here for a piece of this before we know it, I'm sure. She may show up before we go off the air. You're getting the smell of that, aren't you? Alright, I'm going to take this one off. Tara loves the idea. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to do one more for you. Tara, try this at home. You'll be very popular at your house. Now, my butter's starting to burn a little bit, so I just might want to lower this just a tiny bit. It's still good. No smoke detectors are going to go off yet. Still got it under control. Sometimes that happens a little bit because the sugar gets in the bottom of the pan. That's not a worry. After two, you may want to just rinse and put some new butter. This is perfection right here. Ooh, they're like a grilled cheese, French toast, right? Because you got all those kinds of flavors in there, French toast and dessert all together. Show you the edges one more time. So you just want to lift it and get each of the sides, all four of them, into that butter. Nice. All right, so that's how that goes. I'm gonna show you how to serve it. Put that down on my cutting board. I'm gonna leave this one for later. All right, I'm gonna cut these up. These smell great. I'm gonna use a knife just to cut it here so you can see. You got that delicious cannoli cream and chocolate chips. Those chocolate chips are melty. They're great down on the inside. I like to do these in quarters. You can do them in triangles, however you like. They're really rich. You wanna definitely serve them with a little bit of powdered sugar on top. And if you're a sweet lover like me, you may wanna add some maple syrup. I see people starting to show up in the doorway over here, waiting for their piece. Uh, over here, this way. That way, boss. <laughs> Guess who? Guess who? The hubby. He's right now thinking, she never makes this at home. No, because I'm always here. A Little bit of powdered sugar on top. Don't try to be neat about it. Let it snow. And a little maple syrup for dipping. I wouldn't go right on it with the syrup. 
definitely use it for dipping because this is sweet to begin with, but if you like a little dipping sauce right on the side. I mean, late night with a movie and a little bit of cannoli French toast, it doesn't get any better than that. What do you think? May have hit it out of the park this time. Check it out, guys. Cannoli stuffed French toast. Try this at home. Really easy, really fun recipe. Just a little twist on breakfast or brunch having company. This is a great way to impress your guests. Um, we have some great events coming up tonight. We have our fish pull apart cupcake class. Check out this guy. This is what we're making. Super cute. Everybody goes home with one and it's made with 30 cupcakes. So come to the class. There's still space. You can still sign up. Sign up's online on my website, chocolatecarousel.com. Come do this fish pull apart with us tonight. We're gonna have a great time. Next Saturday, the 19th is Sweet Tooth Saturday. All you can eat, cake filling and frosting from four to six for just six bucks. You guys have to be here. You can bring your own wine or beer. It's a super fun cake social. We'd love to have you. I had to cancel my challenge at the end of this month because I have a group coming in for a private. I wanted to tell you guys, in case you have a group, 12 to 16 people, you can book this room for your own private event. We're doing a cake decorating. They're coming with a group of 16. They're gonna have an awesome time. Check out the website, book your own event. We would love to have you and you get to hang out with all of your friends, make cake and eat cake. Drink a little wine along the way. Can't get any better than that. Oh, by the way, this Friday is the last day to vote on the Asbury Park Press Best of the Best. So go right on our Facebook. There's a link to click. Give us your vote, guys. We're trying to make it eight years in a row. I really hope that you'll support us. So check us out and give us a vote. Thanks so much for joining me on live. I'll see you next week. We're going to be doing dessert for breakfast again. I got something already in mind, so tune in. Have a great week.